You're under arrest. Both of you. Is that a joke? How do you feel about the finale? Because I was so heartbroken over the whole coup situation. <laughs> I was really mad by the finale. Obviously, I wanted Ali to like be in power. But hey, you know, I learned a lot from Ali. Who do you think she should trust to help her out in this situation? I mean, from the show, I'm like, trust no one. Maybe Grizz? I love Grizz. I, love I feel like too. Grizz and her, they're gonna come up with something, yeah. you know? Like, he's still on Team Allie, I feel like. Why is she bleeding? A lot happened while you were gone, hey, you'll find out later. What do you think is actually going through his mind? In his heart of hearts, he kind of knows what's going on, and that'll be a point of conflict in the future. I talked to uh, Catherine Newton earlier, and I said, who do you think Allie can trust to get her out of this situation? And she said, Grizz. Oh yeah, for sure, we're homies. So you're gonna fight for Allie in a season two? Hell yeah, yes. Hell yeah. All hail, all Khaleesi. Hail. Hey! None of what they're saying is true! die alone you survive together you know and I think Will is very pragmatist and then you know Ali's a leader Grizz is an explorer he's very like resourceful you know and so all of them together need to measure their own strengths yeah. and then utilize each other as a team in order to survive which is really just how the world works right do you think Helena has a plan to save Ali and Will she always has a plan. Helena always has a plan. Yes. So do you think Helena is still on the good side of things? Yeah, I mean, what is the good side really like? I think everyone's just acting impulsively and wants to save themselves and that's kind of why it's so hot. What's going on? It's all right. Luke, what's happening? I feel like her relationship is obviously going to be very tested because Luke ultimately goes to the dark yeah. side. Yeah. How do you think this, the finale, affects their relationship? Right. Um. Depending on uh, if we go to season two, um, they have a lot to work out yeah. because they leave on a very tough cliffhanger. What? 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 Why are they here? Trust me. Very disappointed in Luke. Son of a bitch. He's a son of a bitch. Why did he go along with the plan? I think because, you know, peer pressure a little bit uh, with his friends. We don't know until we're in the situation, until we're in the room and, and we have a conversation or... We have a group of people that are, you know, about to beat us up or possibly kill us, right. that we make a decision. So, yeah, so I feel bad for him, but, uh, yeah, it's a, a bad, bad move. Bad move, Luke. Where do you think the story goes in a season two? Is there hope that he can maybe undo what he's done? He's in a tight spot. He's, you know, he's in a really, really tight spot. Um, but I think that there's absolutely potential for redemption and for him to set things right and to make up for what he's done. But they promise you, Luke? Do you think he feels bad for what he did to Allie and Will? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a kid, you know, and I mean, even if he wasn't a kid, you know, we make bad decisions sometimes as people, as, as complex do. people. Yeah. Do you want to hear the deal or not? Campbell's really responsible for overthrowing Allie and putting this plan into motion. What do you make of these co-mayors and where things end? My thing with Campbell was very much if, if I'm able as Campbell to get all these people to do what I want them to do and they're so easily manipulative, then they're kind of the same as me. It's like Campbell proving to himself that all these people are actually have the same, I guess, evil inside them as, as Campbell does. Do you think he feels bad at all? Does Campbell feel bad? No. I think he's actually, by the end of it, he's having a pretty good time. I think the more chaos that's going on, the more Campbell feels like uh, he's surrounded by, uh, uh, I guess, reflected back to him himself from the way that he feels inside. So I think it's a win-win for Campbell. Ali, what, what did you do to her? Well, nothing. Yeah. Do you think that Elle has a plan up her sleeve? Where do you think she stands? Well, I think Elle's kind of, I guess she's kind of always had a plan up her, her sleeve to a degree. Sure. If she gets pushed into a corner hard enough, she seems to try to plan a way out of that, even if it doesn't become successful straight right. away. I'll be interested to see what happens in the second season. Have you talked to the writers at all? A little bit. I'm imagining there'll be some kind of dip in power and that Campbell will lose power eventually. Whether he regains it or, or you know, what happens, I don't know. But I feel like that would be an interesting place to go. Who cares who's in charge? This is just a game. I think it's going to be just very interesting going into season two, like what happens with all that stuff, you know, with the power and... Do you think that Harry feels bad at all for what he's done? Because him and Ali had a romance and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah! To be honest, I think Harry is very distracted by the end of the series, so... 
perhaps he's not thinking about too much about what kind of actions he's done. I don't think there's any regret involved. He came into this series with his dad just dying and um, he had a, a whole life planned for him and that all crumbled and he's lost. He doesn't know what to do. We are not a mob, all right? We still have rules here. Was I accurate to think that she seemed unsure of herself when the coup came to be? I think there are always a lot of things in question, but I think that Lexi always has something up her sleeve. At the core, do you think that Lexi's a good person? I think she's got a little bit of, you know, good and bad in her. <laughs> yeah, bad. yeah, That's definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think will make a better mayor, Lexi or Harry? Don't tell Harry, but I might be, as a fan, I love Lexi, Team Lexi. I don't know, I kind of want to see what she does. Like, as a viewer, yeah. I want to see what kind of chaos she causes. You know? No, you but think? it would be funny to watch Harry fail. Listen to me! Everything stays the same. Uh, I think that each of them has, has you know, has, has potential to be great. Yeah. Do you think in a season two, Allie could return to power? Is there I a mean, way? I mean, I feel like once you get a taste of power, like, don't you just want it? So I hope she does, but I don't know. <gasps> ah! <laughs>